You want to have layers in your hair, but you're not really sure how to ask. And who should you go to? Should you go to a barber? Should you go to a hairstylist? I'm going to break down all these things in this video. So firstly, and I've talked about this many, many times in other videos, but I want to go over a number of, of key things in this video because I've been getting so many comments and, and DMs and you know, questions about layers and what to say and who should I go to. So layers, right? Layering is a technique. It's a haircutting technique that is designed to remove weight. It's simply a technique, right? You're layering the hair. You're, it's like you're layering on clothing. You're putting on one layer, then you're putting, it's a, there's a technique of putting on clothes, right? It's the same thing when it comes to hair. You're doing a technique that's designed to remove weight. Meaning, like let's take this mannequin right here, for example. This mannequin, say the hair is just all one length and the individual says, oh, my hair has no body, no movement, no shape to it. Okay, let's put some layers like this right here. These shorter pieces are layers. So now it's gonna have some life to it and some movement. If this didn't have it, it would all just be hanging one length, very, very flat and no shape to it. That's when you say, I'd like some movement in my hair. I'd like some volume in my hair. It just lays flat. If you start the consultation or explain to the professional what the trouble is or what the, the problem issue is or problem area with your hair is, it's up to them to diagnose what's the best technique for your hair. Meaning, hey, my hair just lays flat. I would automatically think, okay, well, let's, let's, let me analyze this. I don't see any real layers in your hair. It's all one length. There's, there's no way your hair could actually have any sort of volume and movement to it because it's just weighing itself down. Problem solved, but you gotta add some layers to it. And then you can piggyback off of that and add a whole bunch of other types of solutions to it. But you need to address the issue first. My hair seems so heavy in the back, it's always so long. Okay, well, yeah, your hair typically is a lot more dense throughout the back of your neck area and the back of the head. Maybe we have to taper that a bit more closer to the head so that as it grows out, it doesn't get so heavy and bushy. Are you okay with losing some length back in through here, but leaving some length throughout here so it tapers and it, as it grows out, you don't feel like you have so much hair in the back. Oh, okay, cool, you, you wanna do that? So you identify the problem. With layering specifically, most of the times you wanna have layers to have a few different things. One, again, like I just described, you wanna have some flow to it like this. You wanna see different levels and layers of hair. Right? You want to see all these different pieces, not just this hair all hanging straight down. The reason you can get this type of texture is because as I run my fingers through it, it's layered. Okay, let's just bring the hair out this way. You're going to see, let me go out this way. All this, you see, when I hold it straight out, that's all layers in the hair. That is what is really, really important to understand. So layering is because you want to see that awesome flow, right? You want to see that flow, that movement and also throughout the back here. That's one reason you would want layers because obviously it's gonna look a heck of a lot better with a flow and some shape and some layering as opposed to this just hanging all the way straight down and just looking like a mushroom on your head, all right? So what that also does is it helps remove that heaviness. If you weren't gonna have this, all this hair on here, again, like I mentioned, would feel like a mushroom on the head. So what you wanna do is eliminate that heaviness and create movement and create layering, all right? Now, when it comes to uh, certain haircuts, there's long layers, there's you know, shorter layers, that all really depends on you and the balance, right? The haircut has to be balanced, which means that you don't wanna have really, really short layers in through here, which will end up making your hair so short and this super, super long, I mean, you can do that, or like, this have no layers and this have a lot of layers down through here, but it's not balanced properly. So with hair cutting, it's really all about balancing. I can have layers in through here, leave this much longer, right? Still have the flow and then obviously taper it down in through here. That's where the whole shorter to longer uh, verbiage comes in. That's where breaking down a haircut, I'm always saying, yeah, it's going shorter into longer. And that's based off of how you cut the hair. So it's always shorter in through here, and then naturally, as we cut the hair, it's gonna be longer and then blend into this. That's layering, right? And you can really break down layering. There's long layers, again, uh, there's face frames, there's short layers. 
square layers, rounded layers. Every, there's, there's so many different types of things. And I have gone over a lot of these on my channel. So just, you could even just search layers, the salon guy on YouTube, and you'll see all my layered videos. Okay. But it's important to understand why you would want layers. Okay. If you're looking for more volume, you want to have some more movement in your hair. You want to add some more texture. Your hair just heavy and weighing yourself down. But please, please be sure that you want them because the last thing you want to do is get layers cut in your hair. One, because you don't really understand what they're going to do. And two, you go to somebody who doesn't know what the heck they're doing. Let's transition in, into who should you go to uh, in order to get layers? Do you, should you go to a barber? Should you go to a stylist? I get so many comments and messages from people saying and asking, salon guy, I want to get layers in my hair. What do I say to my barber? What do I say to my stylist? Or, you know, I'm growing my hair out and I want to have bar layers in my hair. What do I tell my barber? First of all, sometimes I get, I get a little bit worried when I'm putting those two words together. Barber layering, barber growing my hair out, barber, you know, <coughs> excuse me, different types of shapes and things like that. It's the same concept when you think I want a skin fade. You're not thinking I'm going to a hairstylist, okay? Now, there are hybrids, it's what I call hybrids, kind of like myself, where yes, I can work well with clippers, I can do fades, I can do women's hair, I can do men's hair, all that type of stuff. There are very, very talented barbers who are now, in the last like couple years, that have started embracing and learning the art of hair cutting to understand layering and head shapes and all those types of things. So yes, if you find the right barber who can understand the concept, then you're in good, good hands. Stylists to me have a better understanding and are more experienced with doing layering and creating these types of shapes. That's how we were trained right from beauty school, right? Working on different haircuts and different hair shapes, especially on women's hair. Uh, believe it or not, in cosmetology school, like there's hardly anything about men's hair and men's hair cutting. It's like, you know, like a, a few hours, uh, uh, believe it or not. So a lot of it is learned you know, in real world experience. So it's important to find someone who understands layering and that's where you can go on Instagram, go on the websites and just do some research. If you say to your barber, for example, I want layers in my hair, I'm or, or you're growing your hair out, it's been six, seven months, your hair's long now, but you wanna have some flow, you wanna have some movement to it and you say, I wanna put some layers in. And if they look at you going, oh, okay, yeah, you wanna like, wait, um, you want like all this cut up top here? Like you want like me to use scissors? Um, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Trust me, just be like, all right, good, dude, I'll, I'd rather pay you the $20 for this haircut than have you screw it up. Trust me, all right? I've seen it a million times in a variety of situations. You're better off not getting your haircut and finding someone who really understands. That doesn't take away from the skills because everyone is very, very skilled and, and I do things I don't even do things because I'm not skilled in it. I would, it would be a nightmare if I were to try to do certain things on someone's head. I just don't do it because I'm not really an expert in it, not my specialty. So really find out if the person cutting your hair is capable of creating something like this. I also get, oh, salon guy, I want to get like the TikToker hairstyle. You know, my hair's grown out now. What do I say to my barber? I'm like, does your barber even know what the TikTok hairstyle is? Do they, have they ever done one before? Are they familiar with it? Just, just communicate with them. And then, hey, do you have any photos that, you've, that you can show me of work you've done? Oh, you've done that? Oh my gosh, that's what I want. There you go, they can do it. And that goes with anything, it's all about communication. Please let me know in the comments below if you, you know, any sort of stories you have with this type of situation. Did your barber execute it properly? Did you go to a hairstylist for it? Who do you, what's your experience? Is your barber awesome where they can do any sort of hairstyle? I'd love to know in the comments below and let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.